Hello, my Mystic Tribe. Welcome to the Daily Read. This Daily Read is timeless. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest behind. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I upload often. And so that you don't miss my giveaways and my shout outs uh, of my giveaways my announcements. Anyhow, my current giveaway is for my birthday giveaway. There'll be three winners and all you have to do is to enter is to send me an email readings at mysticgen.com subject line birthday giveaway and that the winners will be announced on my birthday on January 12th. Okay. Um, <clears throat> And I just kind of wanted to show this off. It's not fully cured yet because it's still um, flexible, a little bit flexible. It'll finish curing over the next couple days. Um, this one, there's a couple imperfections in it. I'm going to be keeping this one for myself. Um, I want to get the light over here so you can really see this. You know, all the gold, all the glimmer. There's the back side of it. Playing with alcohol inks and stuff like that. But um, <clears throat> there's some inf imperfections in it. And on, I wanted to, I'm going to light my tea light on it. It's a tea light candle holder. And I'm actually going to be making another one for the giveaway. It's going to be one of the choices in my birthday giveaway. It's one of these tea light holders. But before I lit the candle, I kind of wanted to show that off. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to be giving away a choice between one of these, a pendulum, or a free um, maximum of 20-minute reading with me. Those are going to be my giveaways. And the reading will be live via Zoom. You get your choice of what you want to win. If all three of you decide to win the free reading, that's fine. Um, if all three of you want one of these, I will have three of these made. Or three pendulums, whatever. Anyhow, um, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into your reading. Clarity, messages, guidance, please, for the collective. Clarity, messages, guidance. Okay, that was the last deck I needed to shuffle. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, we're going to get your, en cur your current energies. What are the energies of the collective, please? Energies of the collective for this daily read hmm energies energies are high okay first card out is a six of wands somebody is headed towards victory Six of Swords, two sixes. Okay, let's take a look at that for a minute. What are sixes? <clears throat> sixes are perseverance. Okay. Sixes are perseverance. It's also, um, you know, get persevering, getting through some rough times. Okay. And we have somebody here that is moving out of the troubled waters, moving away from turmoil and, and moving away from drama and headed towards victory. So they're moving out of the troubled waters into calmer waters and they're going to hop on that horse towards victory. Okay. Um, I do want to get a few Oracle cards. Clarity, messages, and guidance, please. Clarity, messages, and guidance for the collective. Clarity, messages, and guidance for the collective. We have the elephant spirit. 
<clears throat> learning from the past. Someone's learning a lesson from the past. Yeah, you know, somebody has taken their lessons, their experience with them, and they're moving on to victory. Some For some, that might be a hard lesson you had to learn in the past. Clarity, messages, and guidance. I feel like that's my card because it kind of fell. <clears throat> the night. Triumph over adversity. So somebody's definitely learned a lesson from the past and they are on their way to victory. They're triumphing over it. They Somebody is conquering some issues that they had in the past. Somebody is having victory and moving past adversity. Moving past the drama. You know, all the troubles, all the struggles. You know, somebody's going to have victory over it. Clarity messages and guidance, please, for the collective. Okay, the inner knowing card came out. Inner knowing is just knowing Somebody knows. Somebody's very confident. So there's a, there's a energy of confidence here. Somebody's very confident. They know that they're good moving forward. Somebody knows that they're moving forward in the right direction. Somebody knows that they the victory is theirs, right? Somebody has that inner knowing that they are on the right path. The garden and the gate. So yeah, somebody is moving out of their comfort zone and moving in a new direction. And whatever this new direction is, somebody's going to be successful and abundant. Clarity, messages, guidance. Clarity, messages, and guidance, please. Clarity, messages, guidance for the collective. I love this deck. The Chariot. This is one of my new favorite decks, by the way. I just got this last week. Um, change ahead with confidence. Or charge ahead with confidence. Stay strong and focused. What a great read so far for you guys. So we have somebody here that is <clears throat> learning, learn some lessons from the past that is conquering um, adversity, that is conquering their struggles. And they just, ha you just have this inner knowing that everything is going to be okay. And you're making that decision to step out of your comfort zone and move forward towards abundance. And you're charging ahead. You are charging ahead with confidence. And you, somebody is very, very focused here. Now we could get into the, your spread. Clarity, messages, guidance, please, for the collective. Clarity, messages, guidance 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 for the collective. We have the Ace of Wands. That is a new beginning. And we have the, um, this is like the Emperor energy. This is Aries energy. This is the perfect world. This is like perfect work. Jupiter energy here. This is like expansion. Somebody is expanding their horizons. Somebody is growing. 
Somebody planted a seed and they are growing here. And we have the justice card bringing things back into balance and back into focus, knowing they're on the right path towards happiness and abundance and growth and healing here. And um, we have the King of Wands here. Somebody's very, somebody's on fire. Somebody's very focused. Somebody is knows what they want and they're going after it. Uh, Leo, a lot of Leo Libra energy here. Um, and we have the the Five of Cups. You know, I think that somebody is leaving something else behind. Whatever you lost, whatever the problem is, somebody's leaving that behind, calling it water under the bridge, and they are picking up the other cups and moving forward. Two of Swords here. And Four of Swords. You know, somebody is making a very clear decision to put something to rest. Somebody is leaving something behind. They are dropping their regrets. They are dropping the feeling of loss, maybe even feeling of guilt. Somebody's dropping it all here. Magician energy under the justice. Somebody is creating justice. Somebody manifested some karma. And, and we have the Seven of Swords. This is saying... You, you, somebody manifested their own karma in this situation. Somebody did you wrong. And there has been like this blockage. I think you might have blocked this person. But two and four is six. Six of swords energy. But you are moving past this. You've manifested this. You, you are not taking any baggage with you. You're taking your knowledge and what you've learned. Your lessons from the past that you've learned. You're moving forward towards victory bringing about balance and harmony and you and this is just knowing that you're on the right path and I think you manifested that you created this and you know there's an abundance in love and probably maybe even a new path and a, a new um, emotional path is going to bring emotional fulfillment here knight of wands somebody's trailblazing somebody is rushing in um I think it's like I hear it I think you are ready you're ready for this. Somebody's going is rushing in towards you, and you are ready to accept their cup. They're offering their cup of love. They're offering some passion. They're bringing about this huge positive change here, and you are definitely leaving the sorrows and disappointments behind. Yeah, well, you walked away from something. You walked away from something with the Eight of Cups uh, that was not emotionally fulfilling, and. <clears throat> You are going towards something more stable, something that you can build. I feel building a foundation, building a family. Um, we've got the Hierophant. You know, there there could be a marriage. You know, somebody's leaving the past behind, past regrets, past guilt. Somebody, maybe somebody screwed up, and they come back with an apology, and you guys start over. Whatever the situation is, you guys, you are leaving. The past in the past, you are moving forward. There are there's sunshine in the future. Um, we have the Princess of Wands, you know, new path, new beginning, new passion here. Um, passionate communications, you know. But I feel like This King of Wands may have left you out in the cold, or you may have left them out in the cold over something that they did or something you did, however it resonates. But there seemed to have been a lot of guilt associated with this. But we have the chariot here. The chariot is saying this is forward progress out of being in the cold, coming in and warming up again. Um, I do feel like that this is a higher level of commitment and you guys are in it to win it. You guys are fixing things. Um, here we have the, um, uh, this here, this is the, um, this is the emperor, you know, the I think somebody has taken the bull by the horns. Somebody has made that decision. 
that they, you know, somebody's, somebody owned up to what they did. Okay, they owned up to it, trying to put it to rest. Um, nine of Wands, you know, there might still be this curtain, this wall, but it is a progress of bringing down that wall. But I do feel coming back together here, you know, things happening. Somebody manifested this reconciliation and they, they sent that energy out into the universe and it's coming back real fast. This is healing and divine guidance. There may have been a betrayal. There may have been, I feel like there may have been some cheating and indiscretion that went on, but I feel that there's healing happening here. Divine guidance. Um, a new start in love and um, because you know and somebody you know rushing in ready to it's like somebody owns up to what they did yeah this is a new start putting the past behind this is a new cycle i feel like that this is a second chance for somebody here uh, we've got the devil here and you know this is about resisting temptation somebody owned up to what they did they gave in to temptation they acted impulsively and recklessly. Somebody owned up to it. You may have left them out in the cold as a result of their cheating and their lying. Um, but I do feel that, you know, Lee, this is walking away. You may have walked away from them over something sexual. I feel like their indiscretion was purely sexual. There was no emotional attachment there. But I also feel that either you or them manifested healing and the universe is answering and trying to bring that about. Again, I do feel that there is a decision, a choice that is going to have to be made here. And I feel that decision and choices, I think the ball's in your court. Because the more I look at this and feel the energy, the more I feel like that you walked away from them. You left them out in the cold. And I feel like this was a higher level of commitment. This could, you know, with the Hierophant and the Justice card, it almost feels like a marriage. If it's not a marriage, it was a very long term. You may even have children with them. It's either a marriage or an extremely long term commitment that somebody in there recti acted recklessly. Somebody was impulsive. They gave into some sort of temptation. But. They are taking control. They are taking ownership to this. They have a lot of regrets, a lot of guilt. But I feel as though that this is it's now that is the time that you guys are pushing forward. I feel like now is a time of forgiveness and a time of healing here. Um, we've got the lover's card. That's a decision, a choice in love. It feels and is also symbolizing a soulmate connection with the Princess of Cups. A lot of tender talks. I think there's some truths being told, some confessions, some honesty, and somebody is definitely trying to lead with their heart, not their head. I feel as though there is a need of following the heart, trusting in the heart, because there is a brand new beginning that you got. You guys have a brand new beginning. Here's the full card. Two new beginnings that has the potential to grow. I feel like, you know, again, Leaving the baggage, leaving the past in the past. What is done and done, and now it's time to move forward. Seeing things in another perspective here. Um, Princess of Wands, it's like they're coming to you with an offer, with an opportunity. Um, they want to change things and transformation. They don't want, they want, so they're coming with you with an apology or with some kind of offer of stability of owning up to what they did and they do not want this to end i feel like that they do want it to transform they want like there is definitely changes in this connection here nine of cups again they definitely want you back and there's the um four of cups you know you may have been focused on the th there's the same three of cups that is in this five of cups. See the three spilled cups? There's the three cups there. Okay. But they're coming to you with another offer. You may be in the process of trying to end things because of the hurt and the pain. They're trying to apologize. They're coming to you with an apology. And again, I think that the ball is in your court, whether you accept their apology or you don't. 
Okay, this is the messages I have for you. Please do make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. Love you all. See you in the next video. Blessed be.